Welcome to Ringgold, Georgia. Ringgold is located near Chattanooga, Tennessee in northwest Georgia. In my previous video, I told you a little bit of Ringgold's history, how it got its name and its reputation as a quickie wedding destination of the South. Today, I want to tell you about its important role in the American Civil War. To attest to the importance of the area around Ringgold, the Union Army sent in General Grant and General William T. Sherman to bolster General Hooker. In late November 1863, Yankee troops under the command of Major General Joseph Hooker, fresh from their victory at Missionary Ridge near Chattanooga, set out to pursue the Confederate Army as they moved south into Georgia. Confederate Major General Patrick Cleburne's division was ordered to protect the Western and Atlantic Railroad here in Ringgold. Control of the railroad was critical as the railroad transported much needed supplies deep into the Confederacy. Ultimately, General Hooker was ordered to fall back to Chattanooga. Because of Cleburne's tough defense of Ringgold, the retreating Army of the South was able to hold on another nine months in these North Georgia hills. General Ulysses S. Grant was greatly disappointed in Major General Hooker's lack of success in the Battle of Ringgold Gap. Union casualties totaled 509 killed and wounded. Grant kept Hooker in command temporarily. The three generals later stood here at the depot to analyze their strategy. Then they lodged that night here at the Whitman House. After the Battle of Ringgold, General Grant established his headquarters in this house owned by the Whitman family. When Grant and his staff were leaving, he offered Mrs. Whitman $50 pay for her lodging in U.S. greenbacks, but she asked for Confederate money instead. The Whitman family watched the Battle of Ringgold from the steps of this house. The Ringgold Train Depot is the only depot between Atlanta and Chattanooga that has been in continuous use since May 9, 1850, when the first train passed through here. It was built in 1849 of local sandstone with 14 inch thick walls. The depot was badly damaged by Hooker's Union guns during the Battle of Ringgold. It was, as seen in these photos, repaired with limestone blocks. It's still in use today as home of the Ringgold Opry. 